one of the biggest things that you want to make sure of is that you have consistency throughout the project when it comes to the color grade. The easiest way to make sure of this is to copy a node tree from one shot to the other. Sometimes there's a couple of things that will add some frustration in the mix and hopefully I can clear up how to fix these. So the first shot that we have here, one of the biggest things when in our grade is that we added this one node here that lightens up her face a bit. Because she's in the shadows, her face is a little darker, so we wanted to add that. Adding that and having the motion of this shot, we had to make sure that we tracked it. So if we were to just copy this grade over, we could just come over to this one and hit middle mouse button and it would copy that grade over. One thing that doesn't happen is if you can see right down here, our tracking data wasn't copied over. So we're gonna have to get different tracking data. And if you can see over here, one little note to put out there is when you, you do a uh, bypass so that it goes a little quicker. Here's another way to go about doing this is you can grab a still and then we'll have a still up here. We can use this still for multiple things. Like we can come over here and let's say that we were going to manually color grade this. We could play the still and then we'll have the still here that we can look at um, both of them. And you know, you could use it over here too, where you can see the still. So then maybe you want to make sure that you have the skin tones the same. The other thing you can do is you can go to that still and you can middle mouse button and it'll copy whatever the look is to build that still um, over here as well. Same, same deal here. The tracking data won't be in here. So if we just look at this shot, you know, that doesn't follow her face. So we would want to turn off uh, our grade and then track that shot through. Two shots, and the only thing that we had to do is wait for uh, tracking data to be added, okay? Uh, the other way that we could go about doing this is now we see like, oh, okay, we're coming up to a sequence that has shots that are all in the same area. They're all shot in the same camera. Everything about them are pretty much identical. So another way to do this is yes, we could make a grade here and then copy it over here. Another thing that we could do is we could highlight both of them or others, you know, however many, if we wanted to highlight this over here or whatever. And you do this by just holding down shift if you wanna highlight everything in a row. Or if you wanna highlight individual ones, we can highlight this one, this one, and this one, or not that one, and maybe this one, you would do that by holding control. Okay, so we'll, we'll highlight both of these and then we'll right click and you're gonna want to add to new group, okay? You can add a group name if you'd like, we want to add them into a group. So now they're both, they both have this little link down here. So what's different, what happens now with these is up here, we have multiple things that we can now build node graph or node trees in. Um, we have the pre clip, post clip, and then timeline. As over here, we only have clip and timeline because these aren't a part of the group. So coming into here now, if we wanted to, I'll just add a quick, um, LUT into here is us adding this to the clip will only affect the clip and not this one. But if we were to um, clear that node and we were to go into pre and add that, now if you can, if you've seen that, both now have that grade. And if we needed to, we could come into clip and make any adjustments to either one of them. So let's say in this one, we come up to this tree and maybe the tree we want to have a different color. Boom, now we have a pink tree, right? And we could quickly track that if we want. Okay, so now we have that tree that's pink. Yep, over here, even though we have the same tree, it's not pink. Um, and that's because this is specifically on the node or on the clip node tree that, that, uh, that that's gonna get added. Over here, we still have this and we could if we wanted to like, oops. If we wanted to, we could come into here and say, okay, well, I want to in the highlights, you know, add a bunch of red, you know, make that even warmer. We could do that, right? And that would be reflected over here as well um, on both of them, obviously. But we'll reset that one, and now we have our pink tree. Sorry, where was I? 
Here's one of the recent projects that I was working on where I had to group clips to do an edit. When I was initially going through here, I did a lot of these on the clip layer. After submitting the project, the client wanted it to be darker. The easiest way was to add them into a group. If I didn't add them into a group, I would have to come into each one, make a node, you know, make it darker, copy the node over, which I'll show you later, or added them into a group. They're gonna maintain the color that they have as a clip. And then when I added the group, I didn't wanna do it before the group and affect colors. I just wanted to do it after the group and then affect it. I added all of them into a group. I added a node in the post clip and then I made it darker, as you can see here. Boom. Now all of my clips in that sequence are now darker to the same value. I added all of my corrections to that one node. Coming back to our purple tree, I wanted to show you how you can copy different nodes individually. You could copy those instead of copying the whole grade. If we wanted to copy just one node, so let's say we on here add a couple of nodes and this was an awesome looking color grade where we had different things going on on all the nodes. And then we had another node Let's add a vignette quick. So if we would copy this up here, it would copy all of the nodes, right? But this one looks great. We like how it looks and we don't wanna add the tree and we don't wanna add anything, but we wanna add this one node. Or maybe let's add the tree node and not any of the others. Okay, so what we'd do is we'd come up here, we'd click on this, and then display node graph, and it would show the node graph that this was built with. So here's the node graph. And we'd come over to the one that we wanted to add one of these nodes to. And let's say we had a couple of nodes over here as well. In the end node, we wanna add that tree. So we'd take this and we'd drop it over there, and then we have that tree from the other, but not copying the whole node graph or the look from any of the others. And this works with all of the others as well, you could just you know, open this up and drop this node over here if you want it to. That's up to you, you don't have to. Um, but that is a thing that you could do. So that's how you would copy a node out of a node tree onto a different shot is by opening up the node graph, picking the one that you want. Here's a quick little tip too, is let's say we had this node tree over here. You can take the node and drop it now it's gonna make me look bad. There's one of the issues too. You can get it to drop on it. There you go. So you can do it, but what I say is just make another node and drop it on that node. It's so much easier, so much quicker. So that's how you copy a look from one shot to another and make potential groups or copy independent nodes from one node tree to another. My name's JR, thanks for watching and See you when I see you. Wow. Hmm.